All right, adventurers, welcome back to All Play. Today we're taking more looks. I won't even say another. We're taking more looks at Dr. Boom, the Boom's Day Project. It's the newest single player uh, activity, I guess. Newest single player mode in Hearthstone. Uh, we're going to move on to the third part of Lethal. Seems Electra is about to explode again. Why don't you give her some assistance? All right, so we're taking on Lil Stormy now. I'm with it. Yo, this is a lot of fun. This is actually a lot of fun. I'm, I'm enjoying these puzzles. A lot of them are really challenging. They have you think about abilities and cards that you might not, you might not know. And, and even interactions. Even interaction that you might not be familiar with. Luther <clears throat> versus Little Stormy. Little Stormy. Again, we're doing lethal, where the challenge is we want to destroy the enemy hero. I'm going to assume it means this turn. Every single, every single one of these so far has been this turn. Are you going to see Electra? Oh, isn't she the best? Oh, they gave us a real puzzle this time. <laughs> Let me show her how tough I am. I'll introduce you. Deal? They gave us a real, like, setup this time. Okay, let's look at the board. Lil Stormy has 15 health. Um, Little Stormy also has three minions. Two of them are the Righteous Protector. A 1-1 one, one with Taunt and Divine Shield. Taunt means if I want to attack the hero, I have to attack these first. And Divine Shield means the first time they're dealt damage, it ignores it. And then she also has a 5-4 with Taunt. Our side, we have one of our Silver Hand Recruits, a 1-1. One, one, and we have Tyrion Ford Ring, a... 6-6 six, six with Divine Shield, Taunt, and Death Rattle, equip a 5-3 Ashbringer. So when Tyrion Ford Ring dies, I'm going to get a 5-3 weapon. I'm going to get a 5-3 weapon. What does our hand look like? Minions in our hand, we have the Wild Pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal 1 damage to all minions for 3-2. Three, uh, three, um, and we also have the Blue Girl Warrior, a 2-1 with charge, which means it can attack the turn I play it. Spells. We have Equality, change the health of all minions to 1. We have Consecration, deal 2 damage to all enemies. We have 2 copies of Consecration. And we have the True Silver Champion. Whenever a hero attacks, restore 2, oh, I'm sorry, yeah, restore 2 health to it. It's a 4-2. So it's going to deal four damage, and I'll be able to attack with it two times somehow if I get Whirlwind. <clears throat> okay, so already. What are you waiting for? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> already, it's looking like I'm not going to be able to outright attack everything and get rid of it and deal 15 damage to a little stormy. So I probably want to play Equality, which will change the health of all minions to one. Let's see. Wild Pyromancer also looks like it's going to be helpful, but I want to be careful. I'm not sure about the timing between Wild Pyromancer and Equality. What I wanted to do is change this to one. You know, Ford Ring's also going to go. Wait, wait a second. What if there's a way to get Ford Ring in to deal six damage before it dies? What if I could find that? If, it, if I can do that, if I can find a way for Ford Ring to attack. Storms and Storm are so pretty. If I can get Tyrion Ford Ring to deal damage to Lil Stormy before it dies, then that's six and five. That's 11. I really only need four more points. Here's four here. But how am I going to empty this board? Wait, I think that's it. I think that's it. If we play equality, shoot, how am I going to kill? I don't, oh, yeah, I don't know that I can kill forward ring. I can play equality and then two consecrations would get rid of this board and deal four damage. But I don't know. I don't know how to kill Tyrion Ford Ring. Okay, so this this would make everything die in one shot. This would get rid of 
This would get rid of this one, and then this would get rid of these two. They'd both deal four damage there. Tyrion could attack. But I don't have a way to get that sword from him. I need five points. This is four. And I, I can't even play that. Let's see. How could I get that sword from Ford Ring? Do you think you'll make a shocking discovery for her? <laughs> what if... One damage to everybody. Okay. Oh, I think I see it. I think I see it now. This is the extra point. Okay. Equality will make everything here die to both of these. This is four damage to there. Four, five, and six is... Thir uh, four, five, and... Four plus one is five plus six. <laughs> I threw myself off with I was adding there. Five plus six is 13. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Four, five, six is 13. I still don't have a way to play this, though. Chill. Chill, you're trying too hard. Chill, you're trying too hard. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Man, I want to get this on the first try. Equality. <laughs> Consecration. <laughs> Consecration. Yeah, I don't have a way to get the sword. And that's that's the main problem. I don't have a way to get this I don't have a way to get this sword or his sword. Okay. So with Wild Pyromancer, whenever I cast a spell, it'll really deal one damage to all minions. So this is two this is three to all the enemies. This is three to all the enemy minions, two to the en the enemy hero, and one to my minions. Six and five is eleven. And then these. I think that's I don't want that to be how this goes, but I don't have any other way to kill him. Maybe maybe the timing here is the trick. I maybe I don't know the timing and that's what's doing it. Uh hang on. Two and two is four. Catch up to her. Eight. I'm sure of it. And then two mana? This guy. Maybe that's it. What if we What if we use equality first? <laughs> Then Wild Pyromancer. He's got Divine... Sh oh, shoot. He's got Divine Shield. You like to play with fire? What if here... The battle. So we get rid of the Divine Shield on this one. I play this. These are dead. This dies. This lost its shield. Uh, I still don't have a way to get the sword. Don't test me, child. Okay, I've got something out of order. Because I need that sword right now. I've got something out of order. I did all the right steps, just not the right order. I don't mean to burst your bubble, but I think we're stuck. Let's see. I did all the right steps, just not the right order. I did equality, pyromancer. Okay. Okay. Am I playing both consecrate? I don't think I'm playing both consecrations. Because that leaves me two mana. What if, oh man, this one's really, they really doing it, this one. Hmm, water is a great 
And now fear of electricity. Equality. Equality. Consecration. And this, the only thing I can play is this. So let's switch that around. What if we attack? The battle. I don't think that changes anything. Attacking in a different order, I don't think that changes anything. Jesus, this is hard. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Humility. Humility with Pyromancer in play. That should kill this one right off the bat. That would kill this one and get rid of the divine shields on these as well as this guy. If I play anything else, he's going to die before he can attack. Humility. I'm sorry, not humility, uh, equality with this on field. <laughs> the problem is figuring out how I'm going to attack with this. Attack Stormy with this and get the shield after. Or the sword after. Because if this is still alive, these are still alive. That's the That's the trick. If this is still alive, these are still alive. If this is still alive, I'd have to attack these before I could get there. What if Wild Pyromancer Consecration is actually going to empty the board, isn't it? Consecration empties the board. So I can attack here. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, I play this? Oh, no, no, I can't attack. Man, I hate this game. <laughs> Wait, it's not going to kill him. It's not going to kill him. It'll kill this guy. But that's the problem. I need him dead. That's the problem. I need him dead. What did I just do? I played Wild Pyromancer, then Consecration. I played Wild Pyromancer and then Consecration. I played Wild Pyromancer and then I played Consecration. And that got me here. If I play this, he's going to die. He's going to die. And I have no way to kill Tyrion. If only you had a little more mana. Hmm. Wait, I think I found it. What if I play this? What if I play this? If I play the Blue Guild Warrior, attack here, attack here, and then I play Equality, that's going to kill both. It's going to go into effect, and then he's going to kill both of them. I think that's it. Oh, I messed up. I was supposed to attack first, but that worked. But that worked. I was supposed to attack first. Okay. Okay. I see it now. I 100% see it now. Yo, I don't remember what I just did. <laughs> I don't remember what I just did. Let me see. Consecration. I think what I did was consecration. That was not what I did at all. I don't remember what I just did. I had the answer and I, I messed it up. Is it play the warrior? I really just messed everything up. I'm going to have to stop the recording and go back and see what I did. Oh, man, I'm sad now. I'm sad. Let me see if I can figure it out. I attack here. Nope, that's not that's not it. I really messed up. I really messed all the way up. I can't believe this nonsense. Okay. I really messed. No, I got. I can't. I can't. My brain has been wrecked. <laughs> I'm going to stop the recording. I feel like that's fair. I, I found the answer. I even said it out loud. I just did the last two steps in the wrong order. I feel like that's fair. 
I feel like that's fair. Me stopping the recording and going to see what I did. Okay, so so it's gonna be a quick cut. All right, it's gonna be a quick cut. Uh. Okay, so let's talk. All right, so we were doing. Seems Electra is about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were doing and little daddy, stormy section. Give her some we were doing little stormy section. I got stuck on the very first puzzle. Okay, and I said I needed to take the time to figure things out. Uh, mostly because I had other things to do. Whenever I say I need to, I need to stop recording now and figure things out. It's because I have something else that needs to happen on a time schedule, and I'm running out of time for what I'm doing now. So, so I said, okay, I'm gonna come back later. I came back a day later and recorded everything. I beat everything in little stormy section of Lethal for the Boobs Day project. And it, it took an hour and a half for me to beat everything. I, I was slowly descending into madness. It was beautiful. But I forgot to press record on the, the video game footage. I got the audio. The audio was amazing. It's just impossible to tell what's happening if you don't have the video footage. So here's what I'm going to do. It is impossible for me to try and replicate all of that. It is impossible. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try. Oh, and I solved all of them by myself. I got every single one of the seven puzzles. I believe it was seven. I got all seven puzzles here by myself with no problem. <laughs> So what I'm going to try to do is give you the, the solution again in one shot. If I can get the solution in one shot, then we're just going to steamroll through this. But if not, I'm going to look up the answer. Because like I said, I've solved all of these by myself. I figured them all out. Um, if I can't, if I can't, I'm just going to look up the answer and relay it to you. Uther versus Little Stormy. I more or less remember which ones I, I got perfectly on the first try and which ones took forever. Obviously, this one was hell. This one was hell. What I had to do was go back and watch the footage. I had to go back and watch the footage to see what the solution I came up with was. And it was off. It was still off by just a little bit. Just a little bit. I think what I needed to do, the solution was Silverhand Recruit has to attack here first. Um, next, I believe I play Wild Pyromancer. I believe I play Wild Pyromancer, and then I drop Equality? No. Yes, I play Wild Pyromancer, then I drop Equality. Then I play the Bluegill Warrior, and then I play Consecration. I'm sorry, before I play Consecration, I have to attack with Tyrion Ford Ring. So I think that is the answer. Wild Pyromancer. You like to play with fire? Equality is going to make everyone lose their divine shield. I'm sorry, it's going to change everyone's health to one. And then Wild Pyromancer is going to make everyone lose their shield. Ooh, no, that wasn't the answer. That wasn't the answer. But I did figure it out. I did figure it out. I, I promise you I figured it out myself. Let me see. I'm going to look it up real quick. I'm sure we can impress her with this. I will admit that this was the very first puzzle that had me take over an hour to over an hour to get, but I got it. So let me see. Okay, I'm pulling up the answer right now. It's it's weird how they have it arranged. Okay, so the answer is hit booty bay guard here. Play Wild Pyromancer. I should have played Consecration first. That's what it was. Play Consecration. Because what I said didn't match with what was going to happen when I played this. It's gonna, this is going to get rid of everyone's Divine Shield. It's going to deal two damage here. And then Wild Pyromancer is going to be enough to take them out. So now I attack with Tyrion Ford Ring for six. Now I got to find a way to kill Tyrion. But before I do that, I need to play Blue Gill Warrior. And attack with him because it has charge. Now I need to deal five damage. That's how I'm gonna get rid. That's why I'm gonna get rid of Tyrion Ford Ring. I play Equality. It's gonna change everybody's health to one and then kill everybody. He dies. I'm gonna get the five three weapon and be able to attack him. That one is a very clever puzzle. That is the very first one that truly stumped me.
This puzzle was this puzzle. It took me more than one try, but only because I had to get things right. I had to get things perfect. I think I I did them kind of weird. Uh, I want to play Sonia. Oh, I'll explain it just as normal. Little Stormy has 18 health and no minions. I have no minions. Uh, I'm a rogue, and my minions are Sonia Shadow Dancer. She's the most important. She says, after a friendly minion dies, add a 1-1 one, one copy of it to your hand. It costs 1. She's a 2-2 two, two that costs 3. Then I have two copies of Pogo Hopper. It's a 1-1 one, one for 2 that says, Battle Cry, gain plus 2 plus 2 for each other. Pogo Hopper, you played this game. Like I said, I have two copies of that. And I think that's all for minions. The rest are spells. I have the coin, which is going to give me an extra mana. I have backstab, which is going to let me deal two damage to an undamaged minion. I have shadow step, which is going to return a friendly minion to my hand, and it costs two less to play it. I have breakout, which gives my minions charge. That's the most important because none of these minions have charge. None of these minions will be able to attack the turn that I play them. Uh, otherwise, uh, and then I have eviscerate, which is deal two damage unless I played another spell, another card this turn, in which case it'll deal four damage instead. Sonya's the most important piece. Let's start with her. Try your luck. Now the tricky part is playing Pogo Hopper and using the spells the right way. Clearly, I want to play Breakout last. I want to play Breakout once I have 18 points of damage on the field. I have two. Uh, so let's play Pogo Hopper. <laughs> I think the right play to make, let's see, Pogo Hopper is a 1-1 one, one right now. The next time I play any Pogo Hopper is going to be a 3-3. Three, three. I think the right step to take is to play Backstab on Pogo Hopper. That's going to kill it, which doesn't sound like a good thing. But remember, Sonya's going to give me a 1-1 one, one copy that costs 1. So really what she's giving me is a 3-3 three, three copy of Pogo Hopper that costs 1. Like I said, I think that's the right step. I have to Backstab the very first one I play. So it's going to die. And Sonya is going to give me a copy. When I play this one, it's going to turn to a 3-3. Three, three. If I play this one immediately after, it's going to be a 5-5. Five, five. I want to return a friendly minion to my hand. Once again, I can return either one of these, and it's going to come back as a 7-7. Seven, seven. But I need to do this in the right order. I think I need to play Eviscerate here. So if I play Eviscerate on this one, it's going to die. So it's going to give me another copy, and this one will come out as a 7-7. Seven, seven. <laughs> so we can play that one. I don't have enough mana. Once we have enough mana, of course. So let's play this one. So this is really a 7-7. Seven, seven. So we have 7, 5, and 2. That's 14 damage. We need four more points. Next, we shallow step the one that's a 5-5. Five, five. Specifically, we have to shallow step that one. Because we need two, I'm sorry, we need four more points. The next pogo hopper we play is going to be a 9-9. Nine, nine. And of course, shallow step made it cost two less. It normally costs two, so this one's free. We now have 18 points of damage. We just have to be able to attack with them. Guess again. This one wasn't hard. This one wasn't hard. I just had like one. I'm sorry. I had two cards switched around, and those two cards mattered. Okay. <laughs> this is the puzzle that. is so strong. If I can't take this, I'll never catch up. This is the puzzle that I thought I was going to get. Immediately, I thought I was gonna get it, and I, 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 I thought so because this is my favorite card, Alkanai Soul Priest. It is three five that costs four, and it says your cards and powers that restore health now deal damage instead. So basically, it turns a priest from a healer into a dealer. Uh, my cards, starting with my minions, I have uh, Radiant Elemental is a two three that costs two, and it says your spells cost one less, which basically means I'm almost gonna be able to play every card for free but i will be able to play every card in my uh in my side uh let's do the spells from left to right we have the circle of healing it it says restore four health to all minions Restore four health to all minions. Then we have Potion of Madness. Gain control of an enemy minion with two or less health. and I'm sorry, two or less attack. Until in the turn, we have two copies of Inner Fire. Change a minion's attack to be equal to its health. Then we have two copies of Divine Spirit. Double a minion's health. This one, I actually do not remember what I'm supposed to do. I don't control the Alkanai Soul Priest. So healing right now is going to heal. 
The problem is, do I want to heal? I don't think I want to heal the Soul Priest. Do I? I know I want to start with Radiant Elemental. Otherwise, I have no way to play everything in my hand. Okay, now I, now I can play literally everything. I don't remember. Let's see. what I remember thinking... I remember thinking the entire time, if I don't play Inner Fire on the Alcanized Soul Priest, Inner Fire is going to change its attack to be equal to its health. So instead of a 3-1, it's going to be a 1-1. One, one. If I don't play that, I won't be able to play Potion of Madness because it's too big. So I remember saying... I remember saying... Let's steal it. <laughs> I know this isn't it. I know this isn't the right step, though. It was some crazy trick. It was some crazy trick. I feel like this was a dupe. Wasn't it? I could heal her, but then I absolutely will not be able to take her. I remember saying heal, steal, deal. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What was the trick? Heal, steal, deal. Heal. Heal, steal, and deal. What was it? Let me, let me, I'll try this because I don't want to waste a lot of time. Like I said, I've, I've done this before. No, that's not it. That That's not it. Chill, chill, be smart. That's not it. If you do this, you will not be able to get her health. What it was, she was the 2020. That's the only way I'll be able to deal damage. I got her to be 2020 somehow. Which means I played both Divine Spirits on her once she was at full health. I played both Divine Spirits on her once she was at full health. I just don't remember how. Oh, I remember. I remember now. Okay, I see it. Inner Fire is going to change her to a 1-1. One, one. If I return her to full health, that's heal. And then I hit her with both of these. Both divine spirits will double her. So she'll go from 5 to 10 and then 10 to 20. Now I steal her as a 120. And then I bring her health or her attack all the way up to what her health is. Heal, steal, so we can deal. There we go. <laughs> that one took me forever. That one took me forever. I really wish I really wish I recorded the the video. It was it was a true descent into madness. Okay. Uh this one, I don't remember this one. I remember I, I get the gist of it. I don't remember this one. Uh this is this is Wrathguard. It's a really cool card. It's a four three that costs two and it says whenever this mean takes damage, also deal that amount to your hero. Little Stormy has nineteen health. Okay, so the trick with this one is a trick with this card in a regular game of Hearthstone is you want to deal chip damage. You want to deal like one point, one point, one point, one point until you're going to kill it, at which point you're going to deal all the damage you need to deal to the enemy to win. So what we want to do, theoretically, what we want to do is deal one damage. So we bring Stormy down to 18 because Stormy's at 19 now. We deal one damage because uh, we deal one damage, then we deal one damage. Electricity. And then we go for 17. Then we go for 17. Let's take a look at our hand. Our, oh, we don't have anything in play. Our hand. Let's start with the minions. We have Eternium Rover, a 1-3 that costs 1. That says whenever this minion takes damage, gain 2 armor. We have Armor Smith that says whenever a friendly minion takes damage, gain 1 armor. It's a 1-4. Uh, we have Corner Sentry, a 2-6 that costs 2 and has Taunt. And Battle Cry summon 3 one, 1 Raptors for your opponent. We have Dry Risk Armorer. Dry, that, that happened last time, too. I couldn't say it. Dry Whisker Armorer. A 2-2 two, two for 2 that says Battle Cry for each enemy minion. Gain 2 armor. We have the Red Band Wasp. A 1-3 with Rush uh, that has plus 3 attack while damaged. And we have the Ravaging Ghoul. A 3-3 three, three for 3 that says Battle Cry. 1 damage to all other minions. Our spells. We have Charge, which says give a friendly minion charge. It can't attack heroes this turn. Shield Slam, deal one damage to a minion for each armor you have. Whirlwind, deal one damage to all minions. Uh, and then we have one more spell. Bash, three damage. Uh, deal three damage, gain three armor. Okay. 
So I think I can remember this one. The trick is we need to get our armor up so that our shield slam will be the final nail in the coffin to Wrathgar because shield slam only works on minions. So we want to get our armor all the way up. How can we do that? We can start with the Eternium Rover. Whenever this minion takes damage, gain two armor. And we could also add the Armor Smith. Whenever a friendly minion takes damage, gain one armor. Our next step, I believe, let's see. Our next step was Cornered Sentry. It's going to give our enemy three 1-1 one -one Raptors, which is actually perfect. Nice little Raptors. Okay, now we can play the Dry Whisker Armor because we're going to get two armor for every enemy minion. This is the most enemies we can have in play, so we're going to get eight armor. Okay, so this is the tricky part. This is the tricky part. Obviously, we want to play Shield Slam, so we're going to have two mana left that we can use. But we're not going to play it now. But we've, we've effectively got this one mentally spent. That one arm, that one mana is mentally spent. So we really only have two mana left. I don't remember. I don't think I want to drop. Actually, yeah, I do. No, I don't want to play Ravaging Ghoul. I want to play Whirlwind. So I also only have one mana left. So charge. Okay, so here's the trick. Here's the trick. We need this boy to take damage. Uh, we need this to, we need this to take damage, and we need all of our minions to take damage. So what I'm gonna do is drop whirlwind. It's gonna deal one damage all across the board. This is gonna take one damage, so I'm gonna gain two armor. This is gonna take one damage. I'm sorry, and then everything else is gonna take one damage, so that'll be. Four more armor, thanks to Armorsmith. That's six. We're at 14. This is going to take one damage, which means Lil Stormy is at 18. So we'll need four more points after I play Whirlwind. We'll need to find four more points. There's the one. This took damage. Two, three, and four. Four things on my side took damage. So we got four armor there. We still need to find four points of damage. Nobody can attack. Even if I give charge to somebody, they're not going to be able to attack Lil Stormy. So I think what I want to do is put charge on this guy. If he takes damage, we're going to gain two armor. And then if a friendly takes damage, this is going to give us one armor. So that's three. We're also attacking this guy with one point. So he's still going to be alive, and Lil Storm is still going to take one point. I think that was the trick. And I almost missed it uh, last time. So that took one. Lil Storm is going to take damage. This took damage, so I gained two. And a friendly took damage. That's exactly what we need, 17 points. Shield slam. That one I got in one shot. I just barely found the answer. I almost did the wrong thing. I almost played Ravaging Ghoul instead of Whirlwind the first time I did that one. Okay, this one took me two tries. I love the smell of fresh rain in the morning. This one took me two tries. And uh, Lil Stormy actually says something when you do the right last move. Let me see. I don't think this matters too much, but I'm going to follow it the same way that I did it. Uh, Little Stormy has 25 health and no minions. Our side, we have Cure All. 3-3 uh, three, three for 3 that says when a, whenever a minion is healed, deal 2 damage to the enemy hero. We have two copies of Tentacle of Nazoth, a 1-1 one, one for 1 that says Death Rattle deal 1 damage to all minions. We have two copies of that. We have Storm Knight Win, a 2-5 with Charge. And our hand. Start with the minions. Of course, we have the Elven Archer, a 1-1 one, one for 1. That says Battle Cry, deal 1 damage. We have two copies of that, actually. Electra says I'm impact resistant. I think that's a good thing. Then we have Defender of Argus, a 2-3 for 4. That says Battle Cry, give adjacent minions, plus 1, plus 1, and taunt. Uh, spells. We have the coin. We have two lightning bolts that say deal 3 damage and overload 1. Uh, that doesn't matter too much. We're not going to get a second turn. Then we have Healing Rain, uh, Restore 12 Health, Randomly Split 
among all friendly characters. The trick is we want to damage our team as much as possible without killing as much as possible because we need healing rain to work with cure all in play. So what I'm going to do is play Defender of Argus. I'm going to play it between one of the Tentacles and the Stormwind Knight. The Stormwind Knight is a 2-5, so he's got the biggest body, that 5 health. And then we're going to give him an extra point. My shield for Argus. Okay, so here's the here's the tricky part. Let's attack first before I mess that up. I'm going to drop an Elven Archer and deal one damage to the Tentacle and Azoth without taunt. It's going to deal one damage to everybody on my side. It's going to kill the Elven Archer, but that's okay. We'll be fine. One shot, one kill. Okay. Next, I want to do the same thing again on the second tentacle. Again, it's going to deal one damage to everything on my side. These two will be on their last point of life. And that, again, that's okay. We want them to be as small, have as little health as possible, but still be alive. Next... We're going to drop a lightning bolt on the knight. That's going to deal three damage to it. Again, it's going to have as little health as possible, but still be alive. Uh, let's see. So we have healing rain. Healing rain is going to deal 12 health or heal 12 health randomly split among all friendly characters. I'm not damaged, so they're going to take all of that healing. Uh, this is really a 3-3, three, three, so there's two points that are going to be healed there. This is a 2-3, so there's two points that are going to be healed there. That's four so far. And then this is a 3-6 right now because of the uh, because of his ability. So that's going to heal for five. Two plus two is four, plus five is nine. This is only going to heal nine, but that's fine because that's going to deal twice as much damage as his health. Hit health, health? Healed. Healed. <laughs> nine times two is 18, and then we're going to follow that up with the lightning bolt. Actually, let's do that last. Let's do that last because that's really cool. And then we'll coin. And then we'll draw some healing rain. How is healing rain? I like the timing. I like the timing on that. It's like she says, oh, immediately after the first hit. So she figures out. She, she sees what I figured out. That's really classic. That's perfect timing. I think we're one point over, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Or, you know, one one shot over, I should say. Did it. I actually got that one in one try. My first time. Yeah. This was, this is my favorite. This one works very similarly to the other warrior one that we did. This guy is the Bitter Tide Hydra. It's an 8-8 eight, eight for 5. And it says, whenever this minion takes damage, deal 3 damage to your hero. This is another puzzle where we want to figure out how to maximize damage to the opponent by chipping away at the Hydra. This one I probably won't get right. I probably won't get this right the first time. But I remember doing it right the first time. The first time. <laughs> Uh, let's look at our oh, uh, 25 health for a little stormy. We have no minions, but we do have a weapon, the Blood Razor. It's a 2 2 that says Battle Cry and Death Rattle deal one damage to all minions. So we won't get the Battle Cry, but we will get the Death Rattle if we attack. Our hand, our minions, we have two copies of the Wild Pyromancer. After you cast a spell, deal one damage to all minions. I think that's all of our minions in our hand. Yeah. Uh, next, we have the coin. It's always a good spell. Then we have Blood to Ikor. Uh, deal one damage to a minion if it survives. Summon a 2-2 slime. Then we have Sleep with the Fishes. Deal three damage to all damaged minions. Uh, we have Whirlwind. Deal one damage to all minions. And we have Revenge. Uh, deal one damage to all minions. If you have 12 or, uh, 12 or less health, deal three damage instead. And then we have Commanding Shout. Your minions can't be reduced below one health this turn. Draw a card. This is probably the most important card in our hand. Because clearly we're going to play both Wild Pyromancers. And then we're going to want to deal chip damage to the Hydra. But these guys are only going to be able to take two points of damage before they're dead. And we're not able to really take out the Hydra anymore. So what we need is commanding shout. 
Commanding Shout is our is our ace in the hole. It's gonna keep our our pirate masters from killing themselves. They can't be reduced to below one health. We're gonna draw a card and get fatigued, but that's okay. That doesn't matter. That doesn't matter. So we played one spell. We're gonna hit the Hydra twice because we had two pyromancers, which means he's gonna take or Storm is gonna take six damage. Okay, cool. The, another trick here is we need to be careful to not accidentally kill the Hydra. We want to deal as little damage every single time. Coin. Again, the pyromancers aren't gonna kill themselves, but they are gonna deal damage to the Hydra, which is gonna deal damage to little Stormy. We only get three more points of damage on the Hydra. We only get three more points of damage on the Hydra. I remember the trick now. I remember the trick now. Okay. Uh, let's see. Which one would I, 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 I believe. I believe the trick here. The trick here is timing. The trick here is timing. Okay. So here's what's going to happen. I want to play Blood to Ikor, but that's that can't be the last card that I play. That can't be the last step in this. I need to deal one damage to uh, bitter, the Hydra. I need to deal one damage to the Hydra and not... Ooh, is that it? Did I goof? No. Okay, I'm, I was close to messing up. I was close to messing up. What I want to do is attack with the Blood Razor. Yeah, I'm going to deal two damage to Lil Stormy, and I'm going to deal one damage to all minions. Again, it's not going to affect my Pyromancers, but that's going to hit Hydra. It's going to be one damage to the Hydra, which is really three damage to Lil Stormy. Okay. I did that because I need to offset the three damage... I need to off he, he effectively every time I deal one point of damage to the Hydra, I'm dealing three to little Stormy. So I need to he has two more points. Stormy has two more points than I can deal two more points of health than I can deal damage to the Hydra. So I need to offset it by just a little bit or I'm sorry, had four more. So I need to offset that by just a little bit. Now, a trick in the game is this minion is still in play, even if it doesn't have health until it's time to wipe it from the board. After everything is resolved, it's still on the board. So if it still takes damage, even with zero health, it's going to deal that damage up. What I need to do is play Whirlwind now. If I play Whirlwind, or or I could play Blood of Ikor on uh, the Hydra. If I play Whirlwind, it's going to deal one damage here. This will be at one health. Shut up. It'll deal, it'll deal one point of damage to the Hydra. It'll be at one health. That's going to deal three there. But then I played a spell, so both of these are going to resolve, and they're both still going to deal damage to the Hydra. So instead of at zero health, it's going to be at negative one health. And then it's going to trigger two more times like it should because it's taking damage twice, three times even. That's the trick. Knowing you have to know that about Hearthstone. You have to know that timing is important. It's still going to deal the damage. All right, ladies and gents. <laughs> this is where the, the the true descent was. Okay, so uh, this is Cthulhu. He's one of the elder gods, and this is what took me forever. This is what took me forever to beat this part. I, I'm genuinely, I genuinely believe this one was at least 45 minutes. Cthulhu says, whenever you play him for battle cry, uh, deal damage equal to this minion's attack randomly split among all enemies, and every minion here. Helps Cthulhu get better one way or another. For example, when this guy takes damage, Cthulhu gets plus one, plus one, wherever he is. Whether he's in my hand, in the deck, on the field, or if he's died already. Because there's, way to, there's ways to bring him back. And then a lot of cards care about Cthulhu. Uh, so whenever he takes damage, Cthulhu gets plus one, plus one. Whenever a character is healed, I give my Cthulhu plus one, plus one. Any character. Could be me, could be the enemy could be a, a minion any minion this one says whenever a friendly minion dies give your Cthulhu plus one plus one wherever he is this card here says spell damage plus one 
Uh, so spell, spells that player are going to deal one extra damage. Uh, and then after you cast a spell, give your Cthulhu plus one, plus one, wherever he is. I genuinely do not remember this one. I do not remember this one. Uh, this is the Becker of Evil. Battle Cry, give your Cthulhu plus two, plus two. This one's deal two damage. Give your Cthulhu plus two, plus two. I don't remember this one. And to be honest, I was, I was worn out. I, I had a bad day after I found the answer for this one because it's it's insane. It's insane. I know that. What are you waiting for? I know that Shadow Madness needs to play be played here. Shadow Madness is gonna let me steal uh, the Cult Sorcerer. Uh, these two are Spirit Lash. They're gonna deal one damage to all minions. The trick is I need to not immediately steal Shadow Madness or steal the Sorcerer. Because then this will instead deal two damage and kill this guy. I need this guy alive. Uh, this is Circle of Healing. Restore four health to all minions. Genuinely, I, I, I'm gonna give it one shot. I'm gonna give it one shot because I, th that's that's what I said I'd do. I know I don't want to play the Disciple of Cthulhu. Um. I'll give it a shot. Here we go. Let's play the Beckner of Evil. Electra says I'm impact resistant. I think that's a good thing. And I tried everything. I remember I, I had him deal damage to me, deal damage to Stormy, deal damage to everybody here. Uh, let's see. Let's play the Beckner of Evil. Are you my master? Oh, the only catch is they're letting me play Cthulhu for free. Cthulhu is being played for free. Normally he costs 10. That little pop-up that showed up right here is is telling me how much Cthulhu has for attack and health. Because if he's in my deck, I wouldn't be able to see this card. If he died already, I wouldn't be able to see this card. But the game needs to let me and both my opponent know uh, what Cthulhu is at. Cthulhu exists, and, and here's what he's at. I think I want to play Spirit last year. Deal one damage to everybody. Nope, this isn't right. This is, I'm never going to be able to remember this one. So he took damage. Cthulhu goes up plus one. Cthulhu's at nine. I think now I want to steal this. So now it's on my side. I can attack with it. So I really only need to get Cthulhu to 17. I remember that's right. I need Cthulhu at 17 to win. If we heal everybody, if we heal everybody, that's five heals. So Cthulhu's going to go from 9 to 14. So far, I'm doing it right. I think I am. One. Two. Three. Four and five. They were all healed. Well met. Oh, and I played a spell. I was about to say, what just happened? I also played a spell, so Cthulhu's really at 15. I need two more points on Cthulhu. If I play Spirit Lash, that's a spell. And this is going to die, which is going to trigger this one. So they'll both activate once. Putting Cthulhu at 17. Did I really get it? Did I really remember? Or refigure it out? I kind of had help. I knew which card not to play. And I knew the trick about not stealing what's its face already. Yeah, that's it. Cthulhu! 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 My dream ends. Your nightmare begins. Let me tell you, I was not. Sane. Let me introduce you to Electra. She's uh, a bit of a tempest right now. I was not sane by the time I figured this out. I had it done. I had it done. I left the left this screen and then immediately saw that I did not press record. Did I I, I press record today, right? Okay. <laughs> I would have been mad at everybody. All right, like I said, I'm sorry that I, I didn't have the footage. I mean, I could give you the audio. I could give you the audio, and you could you could play this yourself, and you could follow along with my descent into madness. 
but I'm sorry. I, there was no way for me to replicate it. The audio's the audio's genius. It is it is amazing. I'll tell you that. All right, guys, it's gonna do it. Next, we'll be going to I guess Electra. We'll be taking on Electra. <sighs> If you enjoyed this and would love to see more, then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. That's that subscribe button. And turn on notifications. That way you get notified whenever I do something special like a uh, uh, post if a video gets uploaded or whenever I do something like the Boomsday Project. Thank you guys for checking this out, and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play.